Liturgical artist and designer Bob Rambush, who passed away on Tuesday at 93, was a major force shaping North American churches. His work uh, wasn't just to make things pretty, but it was to help people worship God better, according to the tradition of the church and the reform of the Second Vatican Council. Born in Brooklyn, Bob Rambush was involved with the design and renovation of 24 cathedrals and 400 churches in the U.S. and Canada, including our Cathedral Basilica of St. James. As the head of the Office of Liturgy, who worked with Mr. Rambush for some 40 years, Monsignor John Tosi appreciated the way Mr. Rambush involved faith communities in remaking their churches. It always flowed from a liturgical principle. It wasn't just what he liked, but how you could enflesh what the Second Vatican Council document on the liturgy encouraged, the full conscious and active participation of the people. Despite the extensive collaboration, Bob Rambush's changes were met with some resistance. Before Vatican II, our baptismal fonts were usually in a baptistry, kind of hidden away. Uh, Bob brought them into the church and made them big, and there was flowing water, and you know, some people had a lot to say about that. In one of his last commissions, Bob Rambush designed these new stained glass windows in the transept of St. Luke to match the original windows in the rest of the church. That was a, a real success when people thought they were, you know, from the original but just put in now. And that's what Bob could do. Bob could harmonize and uh, they're beautiful. People love them. Though churches continue to evolve and sometimes roll back Bob Rambush's innovations, his influence remains through the many liturgical artists he nurtured. In Whitestone, Fort Currents, I'm Conrad Aderer.